Hey y'all, Moses here. I just wanted to go over some of the changes uh, in this new patch and my first impressions of some of the stuff that came in with the most recent test server update. Now, I've already gone through the patch notes. I'm not gonna rehash every little thing that was changed, but I just wanted to give my, uh, my feedback on some of how the game um, has changed, I guess, for me as a player and as someone who makes content and, and, and really a lot of the little stuff that maybe didn't really hit home, uh, especially for me, uh, until I started playing. So the first thing is hold to ADS being in the game. Now, hold to ADS for me uh, was actually a little bit hard to get used to considering I've been tapping to ADS for almost a thousand hours across the test servers and beta and the live servers. So uh, being able to hold the ADS now is something that has gotten me killed a couple of times just because I'm not used to it, but has also made my gunfighting uh, a little bit smoother. Uh, it promotes bursting a lot more and bursting is definitely one of the better ways to control a fully automatic gun like the AK. Now the AK being changed as well, having that first shot recoil reduced and being a little bit easier to control overall, especially when bursting, very uh, it, it's very uh, it's very synergetic, has synergy with the uh, uh, with the new hold to ADS mechanics. So that's a really nice thing to see. So essentially, the movement ability with hold to ADS is also uh, is also a lot easier. Being able to kind of fire and move and vault and get around close quarters, being a little bit more smooth. I guess I I must be one of the very few, as I've talked to a few individuals who never actually used that kind of hold aim that third person aiming mechanic uh i was I, I had given up third person so long ago that i actually couldn't remember what it was like to try and use that mechanic uh, and it's just not something that i ever did i just always right clicked and ad and ads all the time and honestly it got me killed a few times because i would get stuck in ads in a close quarters uh close quarters fight and that would kind of be the end of me so uh, yeah, the, the new holding mechanic is really nice. So for those of you who are still kind of on the fence about trying it or are a little bit frustrated with trying it, I would really recommend you uh, you you stick with it for a little while because a lot of other games have it. It's a it's a Call of Duty mechanic. I use it in Battlefield, so I, I've generally been pretty happy with it. So uh, I hope that's something that uh, that kind of quality of life change is, is something that I hope to see more of. I don't really know what else is on the wish list, but ultimately uh, that one was a big one. So the second thing. Uh, was the new replay feature. Now, um, the, the replay feature is something that I don't think I can even fathom how useful it's going to be. You've already seen a couple of clips uh, floating around on Reddit, potentially, uh, if you do browse the Reddit, of people using the, the new replay mechanic uh, in both a cinematic fashion and to kind of show different things. As a learning tool, it's incredibly useful. As a media creation tool, it's incredibly useful. We're gonna start seeing things like high-level frag videos. Uh, it'll be very, very good for PUBG breakdown. I'll show you a couple of different examples, but I'll save some of that for a different video just because I wanna do a couple of uh, breakdown videos using only the replay mechanics as well as some in-game footage, kind of like what you're seeing now. So uh, on top of that, the Winchester changes are definitely nice. Uh, I spent a little bit of time using it. It's very satisfying to use. Uh, it is outclassed by ARs in a lot of different situations, uh, mid-range and, and close to medium-range fights. Uh, if you're going up against a fully automatic rifle, I really hope you can aim. I wasn't doing super great with it a lot of the time. Uh, I think that my precision needs some work, so it's definitely not the rifle being bad. It's definitely the user. So uh, the the, uh, the high skill requirement to use the Winchester at all times is definitely there, but the ease of use uh, could maybe use some some tweaking, uh, or or ultimately it can just kind of fall or find its own place uh, in the game as far as maybe a specific use weapon or or otherwise, because really an AR outclasses it in a lot of different ways. Um, the uh, the other mechanics that I'm kind of enjoying are the uh, are are just how the uh, uh, I guess the gunfights unfold now uh, with all the different movement changes. Server lag is still a bit of an issue. Uh, there's a lot of teleporting and warping from enemy players, not so much on on the side of, uh, of, of, of myself or the individual player as you play the game, but I definitely witness a lot of teleporting around and I had a few people sending me tweets, showing me clips of myself killing them and I'm teleporting around. So even though I'm not feeling the lag, others are. And uh, I definitely saw that as well. So hopefully that's something that is still being worked on. Uh, the devs have done a good job of 
of making the gunfighting a little bit smoother. But every once in a while, you come across someone who's so laggy, you can't even really deal with that. So uh, I hope that's something that gets fixed because we are now only four days away from release. Uh, I I think there will be a day one patch, but I don't know what that's going to include. Maybe some more surprises, maybe some more bug fixes. Who knows? But I can guarantee you that the devs are probably working around the clock on getting everything ready because this is a big, big milestone. So uh, other than that, I've been uh, spending more time playing, luckily, so I've, I've been having a good time. Um, ultimately, I think that the game is in a fairly good place right now. I don't think that the ability to choose a map being in the game is is very good, but I think that's more of a community complaint because more people want to play the desert map and and I imagine those complaining are the ones that are dropping out of Erangel. But on on the on the on the reverse end of that, I will say that games on Erangel are a lot more enjoyable because so many people drop out of the lot. There's only like 85 or 86 people in the game by the time it starts. So the early game is basically lag free, especially at a place like military base. I've been having a really good time playing on Erangel because the player counts a little bit lower. So the the early game is really fun, but then the mid game is super boring because there's nobody around, and then the end game is really fun because the gunfighting is smooth and everything works really well, and and really it's been quite enjoyable. But obviously that's not a sustainable thing to have people dropping the lobby all the time in favor of the desert map. So I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think about the. Uh, I want you to think about this whole kind of patch as it's as it's shaping up to be. Is there anything that's been left out of the game that you think is an absolute game breaker or if there's some things that you've really enjoyed? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, just a side note, I'm trying new editing software and as I'm reviewing the video here as I'm speaking, I can see that there's a watermark included on the trial version. So excuse that. It's not that I stole the software. I'm just trying something new because Premiere has been driving me insane. Um, so I'm going to be trying Vegas and hopefully learning how to use that software, but it's going to be a bit of a slow go. Uh, so I'm going to include, uh, some gameplay. I think I'll just kind of let that run. Uh, there's not going to be any additional commentary. I just wanted to use this opportunity to talk about some of the things that I liked about the new patch and that, uh, uh, just to just to kind of learn the editing software. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions or if I missed something that you guys uh, think is super awesome about this most recent test server patch, uh, just leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And of course, uh, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash WTF Moses. And you can also come and visit uh, me on Twitter at WTF Moses. So leave a like if you liked the video, even though there wasn't a ton of substance. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. And until next time, I will see you out there.